We uh, looked at the disease known as diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, which is uh, one of the most common types of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in North America and uh, fits into the classification as an intermediate grade or an aggressive type of lymphoma. The standard of care for diffuse large B-cell lymphoma has been the um, antibody rituximab in combination with CHOP chemotherapy. And what we studied is we added another monoclonal antibody called epituzumab to the standard regimen of RCHOP. So our regimen is known as ER, CHOP chemotherapy. And um, what we were looking for is uh, A, to make sure it was safe and tolerable, but also more importantly to see if we could improve the response rate as well as hopefully the cure rate with the addition of epituzumab to uh, our CHOP chemotherapy. When you look at our results in comparison to the previously uh, published results using just rituximab with CHOP, our results do look better. So um, what's important in that is not only the response rate was improved, but also the number of patients that are alive without disease, terms measured um, with things such as event-free survival or progression-free survival as well as overall survival appeared to be better when you look back at the old studies. Now it's hard to say just from that that our regiment is better and should now be considered the standard of care, but what it does state is that this looks promising and a phase three study where you actually then do a randomized study and you compare ERCHOP to RCHOP should be done to assess whether ER CHOP should now be considered the standard of care. If we look at the patients who have what we would consider to be high risk disease um, as, as um, defined by having a certain number of poor prognostic factors, um, a mixture of lab tests, where their disease is, how well the patient is doing, the patients who had high risk disease seem to benefit the most from the addition of the epituzumab. So I think that was a uh, I guess a surprise finding to some extent and also a very good finding. Our hope is to proceed with a phase three study in a cooperative group and we're looking at the ECOG cooperative group which stands for the uh, Eastern Cooperative Oncology Group and uh, we're, our hope is to proceed with a phase three study within ECOG. We should take away that there's ongoing hope and ongoing improvements uh, to cure more patients with diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. I would urge uh, patients who are looking um, for treatment to look at clinical trials because I do think clinical trials offer uh, the hope of improving above the standard of care. And in regards to this particular study, our hope is that epituzumab will in fact improve um, above and beyond what RCHOP can do and hopefully in the future will become the new standard of care.